what is up guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Suman and today's analysis video is going to be about Thomas Tuchel and we are going to see what he has done at Chelsea in his first two games in charge. So I was actually working on the Wolves game a few days ago but I couldn't finalize that video as I had to leave for some work. So I thought I should try to include both these games in one video. So Thomas Tuchel has mainly used a back three in his first two games at Chelsea. He lines up his team in a 3-4-3 formation which is mostly 3-2-4-1 on the ground with possession and a back four without possession. Without possession, the left wing back drops in the defense to make a back four with Callum hudson dropping in the midfield. And at times, hudson also drops in the defense to make a back five defensively. So I made a video on Thomas Tuchel a few days ago. The link to that video is in the description. So in that video, I spoke about the build-up and how Thomas Tuchel likes his team to build the play using 5 players in order to create a 5v2 or 5v3 position in the first phase of build-up. Back 3 and a double pivot to create a 5v2 position in the first phase of build-up to help Chelsea easily create the passing lanes and build the play. Kovacic is forcing Podence out and Thiago Silva's body orientation indicates that he is going to play the pass to Espliqueta. So Neto steps out to press the Espliqueta and that opens a passing lane for Thiago Silva to pick Jorginho. Outnumbering Wolves in the first phase and easily building the play right through the middle. Here again, 5 players building the play for Chelsea. Traore steps out to cover Rudiger and Thiago Silva once again easily picks Kovacic. Kovacic now has time and space to easily move through the middle. But as I mentioned in my last video as well, Thomas Tuchel doesn't always want his team to build from the back. He likes to have centre-backs who are comfortable at playing long passes and who can go direct and pick the front runners when need be. Hakim Ziyech drops in between the lines and he's forcing the centre-back to step out. Callum hudson can see the centre-back stepping out and he immediately makes a run in the space that was left open by the centre-back. Thiago Silva immediately plays a long pass and he tries to find hudson -Odoi. Chelsea have been averaging 28 long passes per game under Thomas Tuchel as the centre-backs constantly try to pick front-runners in the wide areas or behind the line. Chelsea's formation with possession is mostly 3-2-4-1 with the wingers dropping in between the lines and occupying the half spaces. The wingers play very close to the striker and they mostly operate in between the lines with the focus of dragging the opposition centre-backs out of their positions to open the gaps in the half spaces for the wide attackers to exploit. These wide attackers are usually the Chelsea wing-backs who play very high up the ground with possession as Chelsea like to build the play using 5 players and thus the wing-backs are allowed to move up and help in the offence. Chelsea's 3-2-4-1 formation with Hakim Ziyech and Kai Havertz playing in between the lines and occupying the half spaces. Here again, Hakim Ziyech and Kai Havertz are operating in between the lines and they are occupying the half spaces with the focus of dragging the opposition centre-backs out of their positions to open the gaps in the half spaces. Hakim Ziyech receives the ball in between the lines, he drags the centre-back out of his position and plays a through ball to hudson Odoi using the half space. Again, just like the last game, Pulisic is occupying the half space and playing in between the lines to force the centre-back out of his position to open the gap in the half space for Callum hudson -Odoi. Attacking the half spaces is a big part of Tuchel's style of play. He either wants his wing backs to attack the half spaces or he wants the two number 10s who play in between the lines to attack the half spaces. Christian Pulisic makes a run to the wide area and he takes away Samedo to open the gap in the half space. Mason Mount immediately drops in the space, he checks his shoulder and he can see the centre back stepping out to cut the passing lane. So Mason Mount makes a no touch turn to evade the pressure and attack the half space. Here again, Christian Pulisic is forcing Tarkovsky out to open the gap in the half space. Lotan could see Alonso making the run in the half space and he initially tracks the run of Marcos Alonso. But then Lotan moves to help Tarkovsky and he leaves Alonso totally free in the half space. And here credit must be given to Pulisic who read the situation 
and played a lofted pass to take out both Lawton and Tarkovsky. One major change in Chelsea's play so far has been the change in the intensity of their play. Chelsea tried to press their opponents high up the ground. And whenever they lose possession, they hunt the opponents down in numbers to immediately win back possession. In the game against Wolves, Chelsea made 16 recoveries in Wolves' defensive third, which shows how good they are with their counter press in trying to win back possession as high up the ground as possible. Man oriented high press, blocking the passing options, and denying time and space on the ball. One of the criticisms of Frank Lampard was his in game management. He would hardly ever make any tactical changes during a game. And this is something that Tuchel loves to do. Tuchel is not afraid of making tactical changes and looking to try different setups during a game. In the game against Burnley, Thomas Tuchel could see that Burnley were not playing their usual low block system and thus there were spaces available in between the lines for Chelsea to exploit. In order to exploit those spaces, Thomas Tuchel changed the formation to 3-4-1-2 with Mason Mount playing at the number 10 position just behind Werner and Pulisic. And Mason Mount was able to find spaces in between the lines time and time again before looking to release Pulisic and Werner behind the line. Chelsea changing their formation to 3-4-1-2 in the second half with Werner and Pulisic occupying the half spaces and making the runs in between the centre-back and the full-back. Here again, receiving the ball in between the lines and immediately looking to release Werner and Pulisic. Again, receiving the ball in between the lines and releasing Hudson Odoi behind the line. Thomas Tuchel is the first Chelsea manager to keep two clean sheets in his first two Premier League matches since Rafa Benitez in 2012. The early signs are looking good, but Chelsea still need to work really hard on their finishing. Chelsea are yet to beat a top 16 this season, and Thomas Tuchel's first big test will be on Friday against Tottenham. Thank you so much guys for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.